Thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hey folks, Dan Ryan here. Today we're looking at this uh, Firefly SG copy. It's a FFLG. And uh, don't know much about it, but I guess we're going to find out. So let's see what we got. There's always one non compliant one. The first thing it goes is your depth perception, Dan. <laughs> She said. <laughs> well packaged in a styrofoam coffin. I'm hoping it'll actually stay. The coffin will stay and the car will go out. Because we're seeing some. Signs of random star thing. So, as far as I can tell, the case candy is a cord and uh, a couple of screws and uh, an Allen wrench. Not sure what the screws are for. Might be a pick guard underneath the star foam or something. This one has the cheap long bags that we like, although it's got little pieces of styrofoam. Randomly distributed. Hmm. Better look in the bag. There's probably a, a tip for the three way switch in it. Give me camera. Okay. I hear the, your depth perception is the first thing to go. Yeah, right. Well, uh, it wasn't a matter of me having bad depth perception. You're the one who threw it. <laughs> it was catchable. You just missed it. Yeah. There goes the switch tip. You didn't hear that, folks. You didn't hear me. <laughs> That's okay, Dan. Your pros far outweigh your cons. And my pros is a little bit profane. Just now. <laughs> well, they really wanted to protect this uh, this little knob here. I'll tell you that much. To the point where. They might not have wanted you to have it at all. Okay, so. You might be noticing a theme here with the Burl Firefly guitars here. Uh, uh, <laughs> and even a Burl Michael Kelly that we did last week. We just, yes. Uh, last week. It was, it was last week. Yeah, that's the ticket. To you it was last week. Last week. To us it was... Ten minutes ago. So, anyway, uh, I haven't played it. Don't know much about it, but I got to say that this is probably the prettiest SD I've ever seen. Uh, if you made it much prettier than this, you'd have to put lipstick on it. But uh, 
very beautiful burl top. I'm not sure whether the fingerboard is fuzzy wood or some kind of decimated rosewood or granulated rosewood. It does have a very nice. Uh, oh, that's burl. a beautiful figured back. Yep. Let me get a close up of that. Oh man, that's beautiful. Yeah, so just in terms of appearance, this is a very attractive guitar. Uh, two humbuckers, you know, hardtail, and two matic bridge. Uh, looks like they're no name uh, tuning heads. Those look like they might be Grover's. Well, I don't see anything that says Grover on it, but. And it says designed and backed by JSW. I guess that's the Firefly uh, parent company. Very nice block inlays, very similar to uh, other Gibson type guitars. And uh, even to the, my uh, sire, uh, Larry Carlton signature that we reviewed a few, a few weeks back. Uh, you know, these are kind of standard looking. These are a little more uh, crown looking. They're not quite as squared off, but uh, similar in appearance. Uh, trying to see if this a uh, neck through. It's not bolt on that I can see. So. If it's glued on, it's got to be glued right here, but I don't see any seams, so it may be just a neck through body. It's a single piece of wood. Well, unfortunately, these guitars disappear really fast. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I sent a different SG style guitar back to get this one because it came back in stock. And so with the disappearance of the availability of the guitar, also disappeared the availability of the specs for the guitar. So we're well, just going to have to guess at what it's made of. Yeah. All I can say is I don't see any seam up there. I, I cannot see any seam between the neck and the body. Uh, these knobs, <laughs> these knobs are a little bit weird. They're, those are kind of like your old television when we were kids. You know, when we were the remote control, <laughs> hey, turn it on channel four. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, there it is. Uh, appearance wise, we're going to stop now and uh, tune it up and see how it sounds. And we'll be back in just a minute. Thanks. Hey, folks, Dan Ryan again. Today we're looking at, at this Firefly uh, SG copy uh, in a almost completely burled finish, it's burled on the front. It's uh, pretty much burled on the back. The only part that isn't burled is the back of the uh, of the neck. And uh, so right now we're just going to run through the pickup sounds and see what we get. And uh, so here's the neck pickup. I gotta say the action's pretty high. check the intonation up and down the neck so it is it's just high because it's high I guess it's not because of some kind of curvature of the neck or something pickups.
bridge pickup. slipped out of tune, um, so we're going to retune it again. But, uh, this is this is kind of the, uh, the thing you get with inexpensive guitars. They look incredible the, in terms of the pickups and how they play. Sometimes they're good and sometimes they're not. This one is, uh, it's probably fixable and for somebody who wants to you know, put the time in, you can probably get it so it plays somewhat better. Uh, these pickups, the last guitar we reviewed had uh, Seymour Duncan quarter pound pickups, and those were just beasts. Uh, these, these are not those. Uh, you know, they work, and they, you know, the, you know, you can get the three different sounds that come out of the, you know, this style of guitar, but uh, in terms of just sounding really great as pickups, uh, you know, they, they sound okay. Some of that might change uh, with uh, adjusting the action so it's somewhat lower. This action is actually pretty high, um, but we're gonna we're gonna see what we can get out of it. Uh, we're gonna stop now and uh, we'll be right back and play something for you. Thanks. Hey folks, Dan Ryan again. Today we're looking at this Firefly SG copy. Um, pretty much set up like a regular SG. Has two tones and two volumes and two humbuckers. Beautiful burl finish. Um, I mentioned earlier uh, that the action is, is a bit high and that is unusual for the Fireflies. We've, we, we've probably done five or six of them now. So, uh, but kind of call it the way you see it. And this one is, it's not unplayable, but it's just a little bit off. Anyway, even though we're going to go ahead and play uh, the Elevated Jam tracks, Galloping Blues Rock Guitar track in G minor. So, and uh, it'll sound a little bit familiar to you, I think, when you hear it. So, here we go. There we went.
as I mentioned already a couple of times, the action is pretty high on this guitar. It's a little bit clunky to play. Um, did my best, and uh, luckily that that wasn't something that required of playing with an incredible amount of velocity. So got through it. So there you go. That's the Firefly uh, SG copy uh, in a beautiful uh, burled finish. And uh, I'm Dan Ryan. We are Ryan's behind the camera. And uh, we hope you will like and subscribe and click the bell icon to be informed of our future videos. And uh, until next time, that's it for today. See you later. Well, wait, there's more. Um, after adjusting the truss rod on this guitar, which I barely adjusted it, like three one-eighths of a turn. Uh, there were surface cracks in the poly on the back of the neck, which I'll show pictures of right here. And uh, the uh, customer service sent me a, a reply to my email when I asked for a replacement guitar. And uh, I'm going to put that up here because I think it's worth doing uh, because they made me a ridiculous offer. And uh, I, I'm really mad about it, especially since I've purchased a bunch of Firefly guitars. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Update. After uh, a few more email exchanges, between myself and the Firefly customer service, uh, they decided to send me a new guitar and let me keep the old one. So uh, the old one is still just fine to hang in the uh, guitar wall, so that's where it's going to be. The other one, uh, I have plans to upgrade it with some Epiphone uh, Pro Bucker humbuckers and give it to Dan for his birthday. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.